today we've got the next generation today really we've got uh, uh reese weber fantastic young talent um fantastic center forward got great ability um he's another one that again we would have high hopes for um we've got noah masanya right-sided player you can see when he gets older he's really going to fill out fantastic on the ball great composure um, he's got loads and loads of ability then obviously you've got young Ethan who loves training with the big boys which I think is a great thing because it helps him become more confident in his game it gives him the confidence to play and also mentally he understands that okay when he does fall back in his age group or does play a year up it ain't such a big deal for him um, because he's been training with bigger boys and maybe superior boys in terms of their ability and their fitness so then you've got Reese Masanya Senior who's a fantastic find <laughs> that's the only word I can use from him he's a fantastic find he's a kid that for me I can't believe he has not been put into the system yet you know there's a lot of kids that I've seen that don't have that level of ability being able to run with the ball dribble past people at will have a knife for a pass um, you know be able to score goals he's got so much attributes that for me I just see that he's going to go on and do big things and like I said it's amazing for me how he's not been picked up by or he's slipped out of the system so you know hopefully we can get him back in get him working hard get him to the level and the standard and you know give him that opportunity to have a good goal but again I think He's got big things coming up and we're just going to see what happens. Hi, my name's Naima Sanya and I'm a centre-back. Um, the things that make me a good centre-back are that I talk to my full-backs and I don't let the striker like, go too far in front or too far behind me. And I'm good on the ball as a centre-back. Making sure that you see pictures early. Making sure you see pictures early. Making sure you know what you're doing with the ball before it comes to you. Okay? Yes? Yeah, yeah. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's work. Play. Ethan, you've got to move the ball quicker. What was that? That's, that's, not my... that's not from your terrible pass to me. Listen, it was your terrible pass to me. You're not moving the ball quick enough. You've got to remember, these boys are not eight years old. They're quicker. You have to make your movements quicker. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay? Yes, Dad. Let's go. In the middle. I've been playing football for eight years and uh, I played for Stevenage last season and now I'm on trial at Arsenal and the things that are better at Arsenal is the intensity and you get picked up on a lot of things that you've done well and a lot of things that you haven't done well. I just want to do it. Yeah. That's right, that's the best attitude though. Look at the smile you put on my face. <laughs> no, tell me where the red zone is. Oh, I just sprint know. from here to there and then come back and then there to here to there and then come back and then keep doing it until Eddie says stop. That's right. No, six times. Six no, times. just think he might change it. He might change it, exactly, no. Six. <laughs> you might know me. He might do like 12. Okay. Oh, I need to improve on like just awareness of my surroundings and just being just anticipating uh, as a centre back I don't have great pace but I make up for that in having a gap between the striker and me so like the gap between me and Reese right now so I can see his number and I just crunch him transition on the turn catch Leon catch Leon Catch him. Now you explode. There you go. There you go. Good. 
Go. Heady. So how can you say you don't need to head? Of course no. you need to head. Of course, but like, I mean, like, in my honest opinion, because of my height, it's not, a, no one's really going to be aiming for my head, you know, unless it's a corner. Like, when it comes to mm. corners and set plays, I usually mm. get put on the edge of the box. So therefore, why am I heading the ball? Do you know, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, if I have to head the ball, I will head it. Like, if I have to challenge against someone, I'll get up and I'll, I'll do it. But like, I'm never put in a position when it comes to set plays where I'm heading the ball. I'll either be taking the corner or I'll be on the edge of the box. Playing on the wing, um, then driving at people, close dribbling, my speed, um, making runs in behind, getting the ball to feet, passing ability. I've got a good shot on me as well. So finishing, I would say, it's a lot of all round things, to be honest. If I had to improve on something, it would definitely be uh, strength. Um, also, communication, I'd say. Um, and definitely heading ability, even though I don't, like I just said, I don't really use it because when it comes down to it, if I had to use it, I'm, I'm not too good at directing the ball and, and stuff. So that would be another one. Don't worry, don't worry. You know, listen, stop, stop. When I know you guys are working correctly and I know you guys are in the zone, Ethan's changed his attitude from being down in the dumps, feeling sorry for himself, okay, to now becoming happy, working well. He's made a mistake here and what did he do? Why did he go back? Because you wanted to do it again and get it better. <laughs> well, that's all you have to be able to do. Me as a coach, Leon as a coach, all we want you guys to be able to do is to what? Self-correct, self-reflect. Don't cut corners, don't cheat. Because you're not cheating me. You're not cheating Leon. You're only cheating who? Yourself. That's right. So guess what, on a Saturday when you come to play and the person you're playing against is whipping past you and he's doing everything and he's a top player, don't get angry with that boy. You gotta look at yourself and go, what do I need to do to become better? Right? This is what you do to become better. Yeah? Yep. Excellent, let's go through. Three more each. Go. <laughs> Good, drive, drive, drive. Last week, the training was just um, sort of like getting me ready for this, nothing too too heavy or whatever. Um, I mean, in terms of the levels that I'm expecting, I already know, I already know the levels because I've been in there. Maybe it might be a bit higher because they've been in the Premier League before. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I know what I'm expecting the levels to be like and I've just got to step up. Nah. I mean, I know I can, I can um, sit with them boys and, and I'm on their level, maybe better than some of them, most of them, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Motive today, get young Reese over to QPR. He's got a big day today, he's got his, um, his uh, trial today, so very excited, very interested to see how he's, he's gonna get on. All the hard work we've put into him over the last few months, all boils down to a couple of days. <laughs> so, let's see what happens. So Reese, how are you feeling today, son? Uh, I feel good. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Managed to get any sleep last night? Yeah? yeah. Definitely. Good sleep? Yeah, I've got, huh? I've got a good sleep. I, don't, good. I only woke up like... 20 like, times? No, like half, half an hour before I, was, I set my alarm in it. Okay. So, I just slept all the way through. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah. Reese, mm -hmm. we're edging closer. Are you crying? It's joy, son. It's <laughs> got to be joy. <laughs> nah, he's fine. Yeah, the situation is that we're just we're a bit early, which is great. Um, so we're just now waiting for Andy to come. Uh, Andy Impey to come who we have to report to and um, yeah 
mm. it just gets on with it. He puts into play everything that we've been working on, so I'm excited. I'm not. There's not one bit of nerves in me because I know we've done the work. Do you know what I mean? So there's no nerves in me. It's just a case of now he's got to go up and show up for himself. You know, oh. Reese has just done his medical, so now we're heading over to um, Heston, where he's going to be joining up with the uh, elite development squad um, over there on the other side. Okay, excellent. Over there on the other side, and. Uh, yeah, he's going to go and have a little run out with them and see how he gets on. So there's a few of the 23s and the development squad that's going to be going out there. So we're all going to be heading out together in a bit. So done his medical, passed that, all went well. So yeah, he's just got gone now and do it on the pitch. And you probably work harder as well. into it I think just because it was faster than I expected it to be so I was just trying to settle in but I don't think I've, I made many mistakes to be honest I felt like my touch was on point I think I, I made like four bad passes out of the whole training session yeah so yeah did you know what I'm gonna say what <coughs> that's four bad passes too many mm. do you get what I mean yeah but you're all right with that because I could understand, I can appreciate there's a lot of nerves that's gone into today. Regardless of, you know, you saying you're confident, you know, it's normal mm. to be nervous because that's what you do and it's what you've worked hard for. So you're going to be nervous, but you've got to make sure that you always let yourself know that you're there because you've got the ability to, the ability to be there. Yeah. You know, don't ever doubt or question why you're there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think the first, half hour or so a few moments you can see that you're questioning yourself that oh what's going on maybe picking up the speed pick up the routine which is understandable again um, you know but you just got to keep letting yourself know that you're a good player mm -hmm. and you're there because you're a good player and you have that belief in yourself because technically maybe one or two boys there that can compete with you in that level other than that you know, I don't see anyone there, but you got you got to make sure you show that yeah. all the time. Do you know what I mean? You got to go into every training session as if that's your last session. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you can't say I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow might never come. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Tomorrow might never come, and you're there kicking yourself because you had a great opportunity and you squandered it. You know what I mean? So you got to train as if. You're there all the time. And I thought you was really good today. Yeah. I thought you was really good today. And I, but I still think I can do better. There's loads more to come. Yeah. Loads more to come. Definitely. And there's times where you, your man's got the ball. You didn't give him. You could have given him a little bit of information. Cut that ball out again and just open up the game and play that the other side. But again, that's down to you not being confident enough to shout for the ball because you don't know the boys or whatever. But they're the kind of basics that Chris Ramsey would look for. Do you know what I mean? Mm. If he's to go and assign you, because it won't be because of technical ability, I can promise you that. It's going to be because of here and how bad you want it in there. Do you know what I mean? It won't be because of technical ability, mate. So, good start, good first day. Um, and you just got to build on that tomorrow. Definitely. You know, you just got to build on that tomorrow. Um, the, the tempo of the, the training session was faster than I expected, even though I already expected it to be fast anyways um, so I had to get up to speed with like the levels like the, the, the tempo of the session um, but now I've um, got up to speed and, and whatnot I think well, I know that I'll definitely be able to show them more of what I've got now that I've 
settled into the session and I know what to expect tomorrow. 